Good morning, raw doggers. We are back with high demand Danny Baby. You guys just love her so much, so I just had to bring her back on. Danny Baby, how are you since I last saw you two I'm, weeks ago? <laughs> I'm great. It's almost like I never left. So almost like you never fucking left. Yeah, it's almost like I never left. Because <laughs> she literally since the night here. But today, what are we talking about, Danny? So today we are talking about the trans girl guide to hookups. Because we hook up a lot. Like it's I feel like we hook up more than we actually get into relationships at this point just because like everyone just wants to use us and this this goes out to that one person who's like I I read some comments and you guys were telling me like you guys like not all like guys are out to use us like I'm a trans girl and I'm in a relationship like good for you you br- you broke the code no, you like, made it great you know? for you because mm-hmm. I am thoroughly jealous of you so yeah but for the most part, that's just the reality of it. And it's just how men are. You know, like, we're foreign. We're like, what is the, um, the, app, the, um, the, we're like the forbidden fruit. So oh, like- I always would, I would say that, right? Yeah. I said I wanted to put my Instagram bio as, like, forbidden fruit. Because literally, like, every guy's fantasy. And they want to have us, but they know they can't. And that makes them want us some more. We are the forbidden Baby. fruit. And so what are they going to do to us, Danny? They're going to experiment with us. Just, like... One yes. night stand us, see if this is what they're about, if they like it, and the ones who do like it end up on Grinder. <laughs> yeah, but it sucks so bad because what I've noticed, you guys, is literally like, say a guy's experimenting with you, they want to hook up their first time. Eventually, along the line, they might want to get in a relationship and settle down with some other girl, just not you, like <laughs> like another of- trans girl. Really? Yeah. So I've seen it happen before. So like. We're like kind of like oh, the so um, hot. the the, the star. We're like yeah, like you know when we say we open up the door for them. <laughs> we know tons of girls that literally like will be like yeah, I was his first like time, and then after that like you see him hitting up all the other girls or like dating other girls. It's like they'll, and, al- like, well, they'll always be like it's like oh I'm his first, and after you like break him in, you know you won't be the last you know exactly i guess it's maybe so like not always dating but definitely like you open that door. you open that door for them that's why yeah, like i love being like, someone's first but i hate yeah. that i'm not gonna be their last because i just made them into a tranny chaser i just opened their whole world and now they experience chicks with dicks and they're not gonna want to go back to pussies exactly. you know exactly and i feel like i mean i don't know i mean you no, I'm crazy. You, though, you're very laid back. So it's like the way you think, it's just very, like, easier. So some guys might want to date that more, if that makes what sense. What do you mean? Like... You just call me easy, bitch. No, I don't mean that. <laughs> I mean, it's, Elena, come on. You don't care about a lot of things. I don't. So it's like they can have sex, a relationship, and, like, you're like, go have fun with the boys. Go have fun with the boys. Like you, if that makes sense. So in other words, you're saying I'm... It would be easier to date you, and plus they have... The, like... They can have their cake and they can eat it too, with you. And with you, they can't. Oh no, I'm crazy. I'm still just as crazy as like a cis female. It's because I'm a dude. I'm literally a dude <laughs> up here. Like I can't say that. Like I'm literally. I think like a dude, and I. She I'm- always says that. I'm always like the one that's like getting my heart broken. Mm-hmm. We already talked about this last time a little bit. But I'm just. I have a dude mentality. But so. this one, yeah, this one can just go on and do it, and like they can like have like casual dating i can't do casual dating are you kidding there are so many guys where i'll like literally hang out with them we hook up and and then we won't see each other for like months and then we hang out again and it's back to like dating like we date like we're together like for the time that we're together we're in a relationship so like we'll go back to like kissing going out you have that you love that you Mm -hmm. can do that with various like guys Mm -hmm. for example slater rather than yeah exactly Mm -hmm. rather than just one I'm very like you Danny know, catches on feelings day. Yeah you which know? we talked about Last time too Like I'm very like After the second date I'm like I think he's gonna be My boyfriend <laughs> Like And then he's like Not my boyfriend Like literally But today we're gonna Talk uh, about hookups And what you yes. guys Can expect So from a trans girl Danny mm-hmm. How can you tell If a man Wants to hook up with you <sighs> Well I think That like This part specifically It's very Just like a little bit normal like you know trans and cis girls it's very you know they only hit you up around like 9 p.m or after Mm -hmm. very like let's hang out what you doing like you know the wid like not even full what are you doing wid space tn 
yeah it's very <laughs> that or just like hey hey yeah. just so like blunt and boring and cold almost mm-hmm. and you can just tell there's literally no respect for you there exactly and but i think so. that's like with trans and cis girls i don't think that has anything to do with like trans but girls. i feel like with cis girls they get more of like a luxury because they get taken on dates and stuff i mean like for us that that could be the case oh no okay, wait okay let's talk let's talk about it okay let's talk about it so basically you'll go from like say a guy adds your tinder and you don't have that you're trans on there or something okay. like that and you like eventually have to tell them you've been vibing for days getting to know them they're like baby let's go out to the bar i want to go date like i want to date you baby mm-hmm. let's like go out let's go do that's stuff. the vibe they're giving once you tell them t it's it's very like okay that's cool that's dope like <laughs> like you're still beautiful but i can't go out with you like <laughs> <laughs> we can hook up in my car and like, the one you know, that i hate the most I'll let you suck my dick. I'll I'll let you suck my dick. I'll let yeah. you suck. Like, what a fucking honor. honor. Like, what an honor for letting me suck your dick. A Such straight man. Happen, like, right? thank you so much. That's never happened before. I really need to suck your dick specifically. Because you are, a, cause you are a straight man. And in a way, you are bending your rules to let me. Like, oh my God. That's what I hate the fucking most. And it's just not the vibe. <laughs> but you can just tell when they don't want to date. They're very just kind of like short with you they don't very like sure and whenever you ask to go out in public they'll be very just kind of like i don't want to drink tonight or like like very just like that you, you know can just but, they don't, they don't want to be seen with you because yeah. in their head they think you're like there's a big like man, man. like there's exactly. a big man in a wig and like it's so awful and so like i feel like when you get the vibe for a hookup you kind of just already know where it's going and if you kind of like set any more expectations beyond that Oh my god, like that guy Sam I was telling you about last weekend, the one that was really like rude and cold and blunt. You guys, I went out with this guy to get over Samantha like a couple days ago. I remember I'm I told you. I to ask you what you wanted to do for like... A living, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I was telling him, I was like, I might want to be a veterinarian, like all this stuff. And he's like, you know that takes like work, like, right, like you have to go to school, right? And I'm like, yes. Like are you saying I can't go to school? And then he was also giving me this hard time about me like still living at home and my age and all this yeah. stuff. He was just very condescending and I told him that and then he was like, Well let's go back to my place and I was like, No, like and then so then once I was over it, I quickly just started like I wanted to go home. I was just like over it. You know? But the thing about with that was he was begging me to come sleep over lived in Riverside you guys and like I live in Orange County and I, like I was like I'm not gonna sleep over like I just watched the Night Stalker documentary like mm-hmm. I'm not about to go so over there and point. get butchered up the asshole like yeah. slice snag like and now we're not doing that one like whatever and so basically like begged me begged me you guys to hang out he was like fine if you're not gonna come sleep over I can come pick you up and we can do something I'm like, fine, like, it's Friday night, I'm not hanging out with you tonight. I think this was before me and you even, like, made up, so I was really just, like, laying low. Okay, so I let the guy pick me up, and then I'm like, okay, so, like, I had this idea, like, why don't we go to this little bar by my house? Like, I know everybody there, like, it'll be so fun, like, rush. Mm -hmm. I was like, let's just go have, like, a drink or two. I wasn't saying, let's get blasted, fucked up, wasted, drunk. I was just (laughs) saying, let's go have a drink. He goes... Yeah, I was thinking about that, and, like, I'm kind of underdressed, and, like, I have to drive back to Riverside. Like, I can't drink and drive. And I'm not saying I never condone drinking and driving. Don't ever do it. But you can have a beer. Come yeah. on. You can have a beer. I have margaritas How all old the time. was he? 32. Yeah, he, he should have built his tolerance by now. Like, a beer should be I mean, fine. I know he was, like, a serious man, but you could just tell he, like, wasn't about it. He just and, didn't want to be seen in he, public with And he, he even acted, like, we talked about it, and he was like, yeah, like... I just got into date or like talking to trans girls and like I met up with a few. I'm like, oh, that's great, very cool. I'm like, well, I just got my heart broken, so I'm laying like, out with you to get over that guy. Yeah. And I only told him that because he was pissing me off and I wanted to go home. But anyways, and so yeah, that was an awful experience. You know where this bitch took me? Where? He's like, let's go get In and Out, which I love In and Out. But literally, remember I told you, so we drive through. I just didn't want to eat. Like, I wanted to go out and drink. Yeah. And, like, I didn't even want to hang out with you. Like, I'm not having a good time right now. Anyways, and so then we get to the drive through and he's all, like, he, um, so he orders. And then I was, like, I mean, I'll just have, like, your Coke. Like, I don't really want anything. Like, I don't even, whatever. And then he orders. And then he looks at me and he goes, that guy was a dick, right? Like, the, the, like the guy that worked there. And I was, like, no, that guy was actually really nice. And he goes... No, he gave me dick vibes. He was being a dick. And I was like, I think you were being the dick. Like, you were actually so rude and disrespectful and serious. He probably was intimidated by you because you're, like, scary. Mm-hmm. And on top of it, you're probably having this weird, like, 
thing in your head because you're showing up to the drive through with a tranny or something weird like yeah. that. You know what I mean? I don't think I like that once too. He was just like he was just so weird. I've never it was Brandon, the one that the tranny hater. I went with this guy who didn't know T. He hated trannies with his life, and that's why I, I don't condone that at all because mm-hmm. it's just dangerous. Don't mm-hmm. do it. I she mean, does. I knew he hated she, trannies. She, you know? Yeah, she knows what she gets herself into, but she gets this weird like kick and like thrill <laughs> from so like, living on the edge. He end. literally like again hated trans girls with a passion. And I was like, oh my god, how fun. This could be, like, the best I'm thing excited. ever. And so I was like, how long can I go without this man knowing, you know? And you went a hot minute I went until a, you told him. I went a hot Actually. minute. I went, a hot, I went. I think, about, like, I want to say five months of, like, dating the guy. And then it, w- it wasn't until, so like, I, I feel like he wanted, like... I get the. I felt the vibe that he wanted to have sex, and so I was kind of like, "I really break it to him." Girl, when guys want to have sex. No, like, after the, the first week of talking I know, with cis girls, I, like, of course, after the fifth month, he's like, "What am I getting out of I this?" I whipped this like, man for a very long time, but he was just very like rude to like people. Like we, we went to. Oh, like, he was rude. Yes, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, like he was a part. nice guy to me. I kind of like that though, honestly. Like, if you're nice to me and you're kind of a dick to everyone else, I'm like, oh, I'm a soft That's hot, yeah. Like, I know you're not gonna flirt with bitches. Mm -hmm. I know you're not gonna, like, you know. But when you're, like, rude to me too, fuck you. Yeah, but he. And your mother. (laughs) Fuck you and your mother. (laughs) But he was so rude to the Starbuck barista. And he was just kind of. What did he say? Like, he would just, like, reach over and be like, no, 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 I want want this. I want, I'm kind of like, just, I'm like, like, very, like, I'm like, just tell her. But he'd be like, real, like, literally reach over. And very dominant, probably, too. Just like a big, white, dominant man. Extremely dominant personality. And so, like, when I told him tea, it was the funniest thing. Okay, I want to say funny. It feels like I'm making a mockery of it. It was just such a heartbreaking thing. Which one's Brandon again? Is this the, the La Vida guy? Yes, La Vida guy. Mm-hmm, him. And so, yeah, I knew I know all about just, like, rude guys. But we're getting off topic. We're supposed to be talking about hookups. Oh, uh, we always go off topic. I feel like we're just start ranting. And, One like, story after another. Um, but, yeah, and so... Vibes for the hookups. Vibes for the hookups. Like, what to expect and stuff. Um, I mean, if you're down, if you're a down-ass bitch, I mean... Don't tuck. You never tuck when you're going to a hookup. That's true, because if you tuck your dick and he untucks you, that shit smells. It smells. Um, I don't know, but this is going to get really personal, you guys, but I pre-cum. So I'm already, like, <laughs> turned on. It's going to be all wet when you fucking take it off. Like, yeah. Whatever. And, like, it's all tight and just mm-hmm. gross. Or they'll be like... <laughs> they'll be like, what? Samantha, like, at first, when you first started hooking up, he'd be like... Why is that? Why is your underwear so tight? Like, why is it just so tight? <laughs> he like didn't understand that it was holding everything back. Yeah. So he's just like just really fucking funny. Oh my I god, mean, okay, his aren't supposed to. Be, <gasps> that's I, right. I was tucked with him because we'd be like out to dinner and then mm-hmm. we would like hook up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, like whatever. But like, if you're going for strictly for a hookup, like don't tuck. No one's gonna fucking see you. Like, so how do you get ready for a hookup? I don't wear lip gloss. Okay. I'm like, that's just gonna come off so Don't fast. wear lip liner because you're gonna yeah, get all this like, makeup just smeared don't off. Don't worry about it. Like, you're gonna see him. I mean, honestly, if you if it's like a different vibe and you end up hooking up, it's different. Yeah. But if you're strictly going there to get dick down, like, you wanna just like wear like light makeup. It's gonna get smeared anyways. Or sometimes not even wear makeup so they can come on your face. On your face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I Uh-oh. never let anyone do that. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I've never done that. <laughs> anyways, and so. Yeah, um, I would say just like dress down to the max. Maybe just like those like. Maybe like a tight underwear oh, and dolphin shorts, or is that what they're called, like dick me down shorts. Yeah, like the, the, like that, like mm-hmm. the dick me down shorts. Just tight underwear. Don't tuck for it. Just everything will be secure. It's just mm-hmm. not gonna be tucked. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm in my head. I'm picturing like meeting up outside his house and you're fucking in your car. Like no one's seeing. You. Well, I mean, it depends. See, when I do hookups, I bring them over. So what well, yeah, I do is it just is... depends. Like you probably have a different experience. I'm talking about like. When I was 18 years old, like, mm-hmm. freshly transitioned, like, you know, like, you know. Car sex. Car sex, stuff. exactly. So for me, what I do is because I host out of my, I'd rather just have, I, I always host because I hate the idea of me going to a guy's house. I feel like at that point, they're really, really, really using me. Like, oh, I'm just having this bitch come over. I'm a fucker. And then she's going to dip, you know? Oh, my God. I used I, to be such a whore. I used to not care. Like, right before, like, because I had, like, maybe, well, I want to say, like, a while, like, eight or eight or nine months, like, when I um, was, like, transitioned, or, like, I lived, like, living life as a girl, but it was on hormones, mm-hmm. so my sex drive was, like, through the roof, mm-hmm. and I was just a girl, like, whatever. You were just so fucking horny, you like, horny. I, I was fucked. I drove everywhere to get dick, I was always getting dick, now I'm very just, like, I want to wait until we're dating, and, like, Yeah, fuck that, girl. I don't know what I happened, am it's, always, it's the hormones, for like, sure. Like, for me, it's kind of just, like, I, I like to pretend, like, I'm not all about a hookup, but, bitch, I'm not, I'm, I'm all about, I'm all for a fucking hookup, like, yeah. they get into my house, and I know where this is gonna fucking go, and yeah. I'm, like, 
two minutes and I'm gonna want their dick inside me. But I always prefer to host because I want them to put a little bit of work into it at least. That way I feel like I'm just gaining something. Like they're taking their time out to come to well, me. Well, I love that. You know? That's great. Women empowerment. It's actually Women's Day. Fun fact, you guys. Well, oh, so. that's an apply for us. We're trannies. <laughs> that's what I've been telling Danny all day. I'm like, we have our own day, Danny. This day isn't ours. I was <laughs> over here being like, respect all the women. I was like, <laughs> they fought for rights. Although she's like, this isn't about us. I'm like, I'm like, we have our own day. Trinity visibility. That's our like. Th that's our time. This is their time. This is for all the cis girls. But I <laughs> love. So <laughs> I love when they come over and it's just so funny because like obviously we know it's gonna be a hookup and so like I'll literally lay the, the sheet down which is kind of like a different sheet because I never fuck on my actual comforter because that's disgusting um so I, I buy like a separate comforter that's like black just in case if you do do one or anything it won't show and so I put that on my bed I dim the lights to like red put music on, put the candles on because she in, goes the whole, I do the whole shebang yeah, the whole and shebang. this isn't even just like, oh my god, he deserves it, it's every single guy <laughs> that I hook up with and this isn't even to, for me to set the vibe, it's for my own reason, for doodling. She likes mm -hmm. like, um, like sex dungeon sex like dungeon vibe. vibes and so like the black comforter is in case if I shit the candle, they think it's for the ambiance it's to distract the smell in case if I shit, you know? And oh like, that's so funny. Exactly, the candle's there to like like but you never do, though. I never do, but it's just for, like, extra... For, like, you can never be too safe. The dim yeah. lights are in case if I shit, then, like, they don't see it. And they can't smell it because the candle's there. So, like, everything I do, they think it's to set the vibe for them. No, no, no. It's and for, for me in case if I do do during sex and so i deal with that and as soon as they like um as soon as they're parking i text them how do you want me to answer the door and later they'll wait what yeah i i Why? always answer the door naked with a heart on because it's so sexy because the thing is if you put wait, that, that's kind of hot because the thing is here's the thing if you i never knew that about you no because if i answer the door naked there's no time for them to talk to me and i don't want to talk to them does that make sense? Because I'm very like super horned up, let's straight get to the to point. Baby, yeah, and like, like I don't even want to talk to them at all. And yeah. so like I feel like if I answer the door, that gives them like an opening to be like, oh my god, I love your place, and then like start a conversation. But if I answer the door naked, they're seeing that they already know the vibe. Okay, she's already naked. I'm not gonna start a conversation. I'm gonna like hook up with the bitch. And the thing with me is like when I hook up with guys, I want as little talking as much as possible. <laughs> Even the post not clarity laying there talking is already enough to like get me annoyed because I'm like, why are you still here? Yes. Like get the fuck up and get dressed and leave. So I always answer the door naked. I mean I also think the idea of talking after is kinda awkward if you're not really trying to like be anything exactly 100 and these guys yeah. are always kind of like oh so like and plus yeah how long I just, have you lived here and i'm kind yeah. of like i don't want to talk like just get dressed and get the fuck out of my house like well like, i shower. mean some guys do that as a way of like making it not awkward after they just came inside of you but i like that awkwardness because i feel like once i get to know them it's kind of just like I've i think that's just because you're like not a real person i don't know but i feel like once i get to know them it's just like opening the door for them to think we're like gonna hang out again and be friends and I don't really want that kind of just want to use them for sex and that's kind of it see what I'm talking about guy mentality over here guys. <laughs> and so that's why I'm kind of just like I answer the door naked and then we just get straight to it and then they leave and then later we don't talk at all until the next time kind of just like usually it's always me who sent out the WYD space TN text it's never them who hit me up it's always me and then they'll hit me up, they'll be like oh my god do you want to hang out watch a movie I'm kind of just like no I kind of want to just get dick down tonight and they'll be like okay we can do that and I'm like perfect come over like in two hours <laughs> like i have two phones one is like the phone for my friends and family the other phone is kind of just like for all boys. the guys strictly She's crazy strictly boys when and i met this girl i did not know you guys <laughs> not know how much sex a person can actually have until she met me like literally it's not even the fact trans or not like this girl fucks <laughs> a lot and so like I have two separate phones and the other phone just has all of the dick appointments and like if I'm really horny I'll send out one like beautiful text like hey what are you doing I haven't seen you in a while and I kind of miss you copy that text and I'll paste it to like five or ten different guys and I'll just keep pasting until I hear the ding and I'm like oh, someone's active and I scroll to the very top and I'm like who's active who's responding you know and then from there I start like trying to get I try to get the first guy over because I hook up with a lot of hot guys and so like that phone is full of yes. only only hot guys and it's so funny because I guess like our friend group like we had this ongoing joke where it's like we like a guy we send a picture of them to the group chat and make sure like none of us have talked to them this one's always like oh that's Jeff from 
Irvine. That's Jeff from. That's Matthew from Take Clemeny. And I'm all of us like, fuck. We can't date the guy. He's already been inside our friends. Like I've hooked. She goes through the guys of Orange County. Exactly. Some of LA. And if there's some, if they're like, in LA, then I make them drive all the way down here. But like all the guys I'd hook up with, I make sure they're like a one hot. So like when I send out those texts to every single one, the first one to respond, even if I'm, if even if I didn't want to hook up with them tonight he's still hot as fuck so i'm like okay let's totally have sex so it's kind of like a first first response first hits or whatever <laughs> first so come funny. first serve or whoever responds that. first and i'm open to whatever because they're all fucking fine and so that's kind of just like how i go about like hooking up it's always me who wants the dick it's always me who initiates it what about like when like guys go on a date with you and then you feel like the vibe turning into like hookup vibes I hate that. I hate, hate, hate more than anything when I go on a date with a guy Mm -hmm. and they expect something. Well, how do you know if they expect something? Like, what kind of vibes are they putting off? Some guys think, okay, it's really complicated. Like, you kind of really have to dig into it. But because some guys are like, okay, like, if we're going on a date with you, like, we're going to start talking. It can turn into something, whatever, Mm -hmm. you know? But then some guys are like, okay, I'm taking you out and spending my money on you. Now give me something in return. Do you get what I'm saying? See, that's how I, I, always, I don't like that. That's like, how I, I always feel about dates. Yeah. But then I saw some comments where they're kind of just it's like, like, how do you differentiate though? Like that they want to go on a date to date you and like wait for sex or they want to go on a date because, and, and they think that they're like going to get something at the end of the night. So I always freak out. I give them a little bit. I give them maybe like a penis I, grab or like, a, you I, know. I, that's, why, that's why I hate going on fucking dates now because like whenever I go on, like that's why I kind of stop going on dates. And like, I feel like the only way for you to get me to go on a date now is if like, we got to be talking for like a hot minute. I need to feel the vibe through text if he's making any sexual jokes or anything and if i get that vibe then i'll be like okay this guy just probably wants to hook up we kind of talked about that though remember the other day we were talking about cis cis couples and going on dates and getting to know them at that like by the end of the night they're like do i want to fuck you or do i not want to fuck you what do you mean i don't know where we were i think we were in vegas and we were talking about how cis couples like they will know by the end of dinner like then we'll get to know you by the end of dinner all in one night. And they're like, hey, do you want to, like, bang it out? Or do you want to go out our separate ways? Like, they just know. And, like, it's done and done. With us, it's like we have to really talk to the guy to get, you know what I mean? We have to kind of just, like, I feel like, pl- like, we have to really just, like, pull it out of them to, like, yeah, you know? And I feel like, like, with, with this couple, they literally go on a date. Oh, my God, we did. Where we were def- we? I don't know where we were. But so, I think we were watching our first date. Rush. We were at Rush, I think, because the couple behind us. Remember? Oh my god, yes! yes. Okay, so we're at a bar, yeah. and there was a couple behind us, and you could just tell... It was like a first date. They were on a first date, because yeah. one, they both weren't on their phones, conversation was flowing really, really smoothly, like, no, there wasn't any pauses, you could just tell, like, this was, like, first date energy. And so, Dan and I see them leave, and I was kind of just like, isn't it crazy how, like, they're probably gonna go home and have sex right now? And maybe never talk again. Exactly, like, and know. Danny was like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, think about it, like, a lot of these, like, a lot of these cis couple on, like, who meet on, like, dating apps, they literally just meet up for like a date and Go, then like get to know each other that night at the date fuck it out and like oh and we're saying how that, that's like enough for them that's enough for them with us we always want more mm-hmm. we want more and it's like do it's hard dating like straight guys because like it's like they kind of expect that but you're expecting more and like you don't know if like you should give it to them it just gets really gray and it gray is yeah, area. because they are used to dating ciscos where like for us, for Danny, she likes to be like, oh, you know, I want to We're get talking to, now. He's taking I want to get me to, to know him some no, more. But the thing is, with Sizzler. cis people, they'll literally go out to dinner, like, get to it's know each enough, other. Yeah. And then in that time span from, like, getting to dinner, going back to his place, that getting to know each other, that's enough mm-hmm. for them to be like, oh, I got to know him. Now I'm going to let him in me. Like, that's enough for them. For us, it's kind of just like, well, anyone can just do that. Anyone can just get to know anyone over dinner. How do I know he's for real? How yeah. do I know he, like he's really we in it? We just overthink everything. Mm-hmm. And so with me, like, if I go out on a date with a guy, my the whole time in my head, I'm like, oh, my God, he bought me dinner. Like, he's going to try to fuck me after this. Like, what do I give him in a, like, return? And so then I'm just, like, over here, like, Okay, we can kiss in the car. Maybe I'll like, give him a little handy or something, mm-hmm. you know? And then people but. are saying, they're like, they're like, tell me, like, you shouldn't feel bad if you don't give him anything. Like, you don't owe you him You shouldn't. Anything. Like, that. so some people are like, you don't owe anyone, which honestly, you don't owe anyone, but it's like, it's hard to just read the room. I'm so bad at reading the room. I'm so bad at that. And I mean, and if we really wanted to, we don't really have to give anything to them, but it's just kind of like, why do, why are we so scared? Exactly. To, like, say no. So you just get liquored up a little bit, give the guy a handy. If he wants to talk to you again, he will, whatever. And that's just weird to I'm, me. Like, yeah, my idea of dating has just changed a lot. And like, back to the main topic. I mean, if you're going to go just 
on a hookup, just expect to wear light makeup. I mean, some car sex, you know. Do you like car sex? I used to hate it. I used, I love it. But sometimes it's fun. I feel like I've it's... gotten caught so many times. <laughs> I've gotten caught. A cop will come up to the car and give us a ticket. You can get tickets for them? Yes. Wait, why? What, what, Public what if... indecency, dude. Oh, is that what the ticket says on it? Or, like, I don't know if I've gotten a ticket, but they've definitely gotten in trouble. And he, like, yelled at us. And it's just awkward because, like, this random guy you don't know, the cop is, like, using their authority above you. And then they're always, like... Well, they don't say it, but you're probably like, oh, wow. Like, this, like the cop is thinking, oh, wow, a tranny's in the car hooking up with this guy. <laughs> it just gets so awkward. Like, I always am more, like, thinking about what other people are thinking. You're not supposed to be that way. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> I'm always, like, he's expecting to see, like, a pussy right now. He just sees two cocks just, like. <laughs> Danny, ew, no, what the it's fuck? It's a joke, babe. I'm joking. That is so funny. No, but I love car sex. But the, what, oh. I, what I hate the most is, like, well, not the fun part is, like, driving and looking for a spot. Oh, yeah, because you're just, the anticipation, the build-up. It's so fun. I'm just kind of like, can, can we do there? Is it is it dark enough? Tell them about around your apartment complex. What do you mean? You got fucked around your apartment complex. <laughs> you remember? This, this complex. <laughs> so, I was filming a video for OnlyFans, and I was like, okay, what can be fun and exciting? So, like, me and him were making a video on, like, my bed. And then I was like, what if we just, like, amp this up a bit? And so I was like, do you want to go fuck in the stairwell? <laughs> and so he no, was, you've done it in the stairwell, and you did it in the model hall. Or, like, the, like the model room. The, the <gasps> Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and so I fucked him in the stairwell. And so, like, we're li- he's, like, holding my leg when I just see, like, you know how at the <clears throat> trash, like, the door for the stairwell, there's, like, a little window? I'd freak the fuck out. I would I see, like, people walking that. back and forth throwing trash. And me and him are just kind of, like, getting fucked there. And I have that video on OnlyFans. And it's literally so. And then I came all over the floor. Oh, that's disgusting. Imagine. <laughs> like walking by and slipping in someone's cum <laughs> and it was just oh like he was like fucking me and then jacking me off and then like we both came and like oh my god it was just such a fun moment because of like that adrenaline like that adrenaline of kind of like being like almost i don't being understand caught. that because literally that would be such an awkward moment if somebody walked by and i mean i don't usually really see anyone in this apartment complex but what if the one time you see someone and like bitch, you really that was it that all. was like I think I was willing to rest. Like, it was so fun. And then I fucked this other guy who was, like, this six-foot-seven guy. And there was, like, a staging home in the apartment that where, like, they kind of, like, show you, like... We, like, went there earlier that day to, like, and look, it was at it, open. Like, look at it. Mm-hmm. And then, like, later that night, she brings this random guy over there, I guess. hmm But when, by the time we got back to the staging home, it was locked. Oh, it was locked? Yes. Oh, so it, you didn't have sex in the staging I didn't, home? I didn't. I didn't. Where did you I, have sex? Outside in front of it on the balcony because <laughs> it had patio furniture. <laughs> so Elena, the staging home had. You can get in trouble for having public <laughs> the, sex and telling you. The staging home, it was on the first level. So the front balcony had like furniture on it. And so we literally just hopped over that. And we kind of just like fucked on the chair and everything. <laughs> and then like this was like at 2 fucking a.m. And like, and so like there would be like security guards just like walking around, like checking everything later. I would literally, we would literally stop and I'd be like, do you hear that? And he'd be like, no, they just hear like the sound of his balls clapping. It's like fucking oh, ass. That's kind of hot. And it was just so fucking hot, the adrenaline getting caught. Like, I love, like, sex that kind of just, like, tests our fucking limits. Like, honestly, hooks up, hookups are so fun for me. Like, I'm always telling myself, like, no, Elena, like, you're more than this. Like, you want a boyfriend. Like, you want a boyfriend. Like, don't be all about hooking up. But then I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about it. I'm kind of just like, okay, let's say, like, I have a boyfriend tomorrow. Would I be able to give up all the fucking dick in my phone? If, a, if my man literally said... I think if you like the guy enough, you definitely can. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, like, uh, I just, like, I would be constantly thinking about, like, what if him and I break up, then I lose all my guys? I gotta start all over from, like... Like, what I told you the other day when I was, like, oh, my God, if, like, with him, like, if he told me to, to delete my Snapchat with all the guys on it, like, I would, because I'm that crazy about him. Yeah, I could never. I'd be, like, I'm sorry, baby, we gotta cut the relationship a little short. Um, <laughs> Text me when you get home, babe, you know? But, like, I just, I, I just, I'm thinking for their future, and this is, this is how I know I'm not ready for, like, a relationship, but, like, I always tell people, like, if I'm open to it, like, I mean, I've dated some guys who are, like, they'll eventually want more, and I give it a try, and I actually do behave, and I, like, stop talking to all these guys. Mm-hmm. When we're in that talking stage, when I had with Owen, where I kind of just said that I kind of just, like, I stopped talking these guys that way if anything happens i know that i did everything right aka diego and like i like with diego i did everything right baby like i stopped talking to all these other guys and it- okay but that was fast you really waited like that like that was a couple of days and you already dropped everyone else for him when you feel the vibe you just kind of know it you know yeah i know i waited i think it was like two days in and then that's when i was kind of just like okay you know what so you really liked this guy well no because so- no because you think i felt it going in like 
a positive direction. And so I knew the sooner that I like cut it would these, be easier. Th no, it's kind of like sure. I knew the sooner that if I kept entertaining these guys, me and him would never get to like a relationship because I'm so entertaining these guys. And so as soon as I felt that vibe from him and he reassured me like this is what I want. That's when I was kind of like, okay, well, he communicated that, and now I need to, like, show that I listened. And so I kind of just, like, put all those guys aside. And then from that, that day on, it was just kind of, like, me and him. <laughs> Still fucked me over, but at least now that him and I ended, I knew it wasn't because of me because I did everything right. It was him who, like, fucked up. But anyways, with that being said, you guys, back to the topic of hooking up. I love sex so much. I can just talk about it all fucking day. I love hooking up. Um, we could definitely talk about how expect nobody to be home at their house, or they, like, like drag you so fast into the room. Well, I mean, I've never gone, I've never really hooked up at a guy's house. I don't know what that vibe is like. Oh, you like. don't? No, I don't go to literally, a guy's house. Yeah, like, literally, well, they don't drag you into the room, but just expect not to, like, see anyone. Like, if you're sis, you'll get to meet the friends as you walk in and stuff. <laughs> But you're not, if you're not sis, like, just if expect you're to, like, the of... lights to be off. You're, like, walking through darkness to their room. Oh, my God. Wait, why do I, like, why do I, like, want to go to, like, hook up with a guy's house tonight? Like, I don't know why, but that's just sounds... I mean, you should. It's definitely fun, but you're definitely just, like, it's kind of fun because you're, like, okay, like, a room full of boys because, like, he's usually living with, like, a lot of different mm -hmm. boys. I or, feel like, like, there, like, like, no one knows you're there. It's kind of hot to, like, sneak around. I don't but, know. But, like, I'm thinking about it. Why does that sound so fun? Just kind of, like, going to a guy's house be like, I'm here. And yeah, like, and then they come out and get you. They drag you into their room. You start banging it out or watch a movie. It's and just, then... I feel like it's, for me, it would just feel like sex in, like, a different environment. Because for me, it's just so, it's, like, the same. Okay, that's because you have so much sex. You're, like, desensitized to sex. Oh, 100%. Like, yeah. it's the same thing. Like, oh, a guy's coming over. Put the sheet down. Set the candles. Do the lights. Um, get undressed. Answer the door naked. Like, I do it so often. I feel like I need to switch it up. And I feel like I need to look What does me. that mean to you? Switching it up. What does that look like? Um, Just literally doing something that's different. So, like, either fucking in public. That's or, not different, though. You've done oh. that twice already. Okay, well, I can do it again. <laughs> like, either fuck in public or, like, maybe I should try going to... The reason why I don't like going to their house is because I like to fuck right after I douche, and I feel like if I wait I'm by, on um, the way there... By the oh, time, we didn't talk about douching. And, like, by the time... I mean, I, you probably already told them about And, like, by the time that I get there, I feel like it's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna be, like, sorry, Leaking baby. Leaking out of Like, you. you waited too long, and, like... It's too late now, bitch. And so that's why, that's the main reason why I don't go to, like, a guy's house. Because, like, when they're coming to my house, like, I'm freshly douche. I know it's going to be good. I know it's going to be clear. But if I go to his house, I'm kind of, like, playing, like, gambling. I'm gambling with my ass at this point. Kind of just, like, please stay clear. Were you the one we were talking about how you were like, oh, you actually stopped douching? Yes. Yeah. I stopped douching, but then, like, I don't know. It's still, like... I've never had an accident on a guy when I... Didn't haven't douche. douched but if i douche there's like a little mess like it's happened before and so it's weird it's, it's so very weird. weird it's like a hit or a miss and honestly it makes me not want to have sex with random guys it's just embarrassing but if you're dating the guy it's like okay like you can like laugh at it together yeah. in a weird way and like this the thing one is guy, I, this one guy it happened with and he like took me in the shower and we like kept going in the shower and we cleaned, oh my god i have that story too off, and it was very sweet because i was embarrassed and he was just being so nice about it but i mean it's gonna happen to everyone. I mean, it's just inevitable. But go on, what were you saying? See, when I did that, I like made such a fucking mess everywhere, <laughs> and it was just so awkward. <laughs> but like, we ended up going in the shower, and we just kept fucking in the shower. Yeah, that's happened like, to me too. Yeah, and I'm like still fucking as like. I looked at him. I was like, "You're a out. freak, aren't you?" I was like, "I just They're shit on your dick." Scat player at this point. Yeah. It's so fucking weird. But no, like the reason why I like fucking at my house is because like everything that I do around sex revolves around shitting and so like the reason why I host at my house is if I do have an accident like it's not my sheet it's not like this one guy had wipes in his room it was like so convenient I mean guys check off and they like use yeah so it was just perfect I like when it happened, mm -hmm. I, like, you're like it perfect. Well, I feel like if I and then he wanted, he was really sweet too. He like wanted to keep going. Yeah, he, he actually wanted to like he was one of the guys that like actually wanted to take me out after and it was really cute and, and you're like, all about that i was huh? like well i just no because after i found out that he ended he was like versatile and i don't do versatile like i couldn't i can't do that it's the guy the guy from oh, caleb yes how did you know <laughs> no not caleb it wasn't caleb oh what's his name r r r h on snapchat R H on Snapchat. Who? You know him he's really hot i'll show you a picture okay white I, guy tatted lives I'm, Good with fight. I'm good. Really with big dick. I'm good with Jordan. No, but you know Jordan too. 
I am good <laughs> with faces. Like, if Danny tells me a name, I do not know who it is. The amount of guys that we both share or if that makes sense or no because danny and i have fucked so many of my guys i have fucked so many of her guys at this point it's kind of just like like whenever we're talking about guys kind of we're a like, package deal it's kind of like danny you fucked him remember you <sighs> fucked him danny you fucked him she's kind of like hey and danny will be like elena you literally have sex with this guy and i'm like oh <laughs> and so we got to show a picture and it's like oh him it's like oh my god you know. like danny can describe a guy to the t his name last name everything and she won't know who i'm talking about until you show a picture exactly i'm really bad with fucking like I just I'm bad with names you know, cause and like I don't even don't ask choose, for their names when they come over we I don't literally. choose to fuck the same guys that we each other know I mean I don't choose to it's like such a small pond it's such a small pond mm-hmm. and like you're in LA Orange County area like, there's only you know, a San handful Diego, of, yeah. like, there's yeah. only like a handful amount of guys who are into tea and like those guys are in like you have like the the cis guys. It's like a fishbowl, yeah. Uh-huh, and then you have like a like seventy percent of guys who aren't okay with tea, and then you have thirty percent in like the the city who are okay with tea. So you're kind of just like gambling between all from these the guys. From the thirty percent, and then if you do pick a new one out from the seventy percent, I've already fucked him, and so <laughs> kind of like you, it's always like a gamble because I've, I've I've already turned them out, and now they're like, oh my god, I want to, I want more trannies, I want more trannies. And later, you know, we show them the world of Grinder, where there's just so many trans girls on there. It's really, it's really a, a like a gamble, you guys. I think we've all just accepted it at this point. It's so bad. We just have like code words though. It's like if you really like a guy, that guy's off limits. You mm-hmm. know, so who would be off limits for us? Samantha's off limits. Oh, one hundred percent, obviously. Speaking of Samantha, I don't mean to bring him up again, you guys, but he texted me yesterday saying that this girl came into his work. And he thought it was me, and he was like, she looked just like you. I was like, oh shit, Danny's here. And I was like, you didn't need to tell me that. Why are you texting me? Like, I doubt the girl looked just like me. Like, you're just trying to talk to me at this point, you know? So we talked a little bit yesterday, but I still don't know what we're doing. Anyways, go on. What guys are off limits for us? For me, it would literally be... um, I don't care anymore. I mean just samantha like that's the only person i care yeah about. you've just been up your ass you've just... already hooked up i gave you jordan like i gave you jordan okay giovanni i gave you giovanni you can have michael at this point i don't Girl, fucking Michael's care rose i don't fucking want michael who's off limits for you i think for, well i mean i dated taylor i so my ex-boyfriend of <clears throat> nine fucking months i wanted him to date danny so fucking bad i have Sh- never shipped anyone harder in my entire life because Taylor and I were cute together. You guys all know Taylor, my my literal longest boyfriend ever. And I was like, I was really public with Taylor. Like he was very like emo boy. He was very emo boy. Yeah. And Danny is very emo vibes. And so like they have the same exact taste in music. When I'll be I- playing a song and she's like Taylor liked the song and mm-hmm. I'm like oh. And it's so fucking weird because like Danny would name all these bands and I remember hearing that that before and I was like where did I know this band from and it was Taylor and like, so you were dating Taylor right before I came into her life so I never really met Taylor you met Taylor for like a hot second at the yeah mall. and then so I met him at the mall and then I ran into him in Huntington Beach one night mm-hmm. at the bars and he taps me and he's like hey like how are you and I'm like oh hey like what are you doing over here and I forgot I guess he lives in Huntington Beach right? yeah I had red hair so it was at the time so it, it was, was very easy, easy to, to find Danny so we hug and then like we weren't talking at the time, so if I really wanted to, I could have, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But then I texted you still. Uh-huh. And Danny texted me. Danny wasn't my friend, but Danny texted me and she was like, oh, wait, no, we were friends. No, we weren't. Because you were at dinner with them. Oh, okay. So Danny texted me. Danny was like, oh, my God, I just saw Taylor. And then later I told them, the people that I was with later, they texted Danny. And they were like, oh. They were, like, threatening me. And like, <laughs> like, like, I'm going to beat you up. If and you I'm get like, with Taylor, I'm going to beat you up. And, and I wasn't even going to get with Taylor. Like, if I wanted to, I wouldn't have told you. Yeah. But, like, even though we weren't talking, I still thought it was funny, like, Oh my god, I just saw your, I just saw your ex-boyfriend and we yeah. talked for like a hot mm-hmm. second, you know what I mean? But then later when Danny and I became friends, I was kind of like thinking, I was like, wait a minute, like Taylor's single right now and Danny's single and like... Oh my god, you texted him, right? I did. And I, oh I remember, I me- I just, Taylor was such a good boyfriend to me. And I was like, oh my god, this could be like the guy that Danny's been like waiting I for. because do that to you though, that's so weird. And I wouldn't even, oh my god, I'm so Okay, sorry. bitch, relax. I but, wouldn't like, even <laughs> want to do that to you because at the end of the day, like... You were like one of his first loves. Like, how am I supposed to think, like, be like confident in myself, knowing that like he loved you first? Does that make sense? 
you guys, this guy wanted to propose to me on like our one year anniversary, but we called it off at like nine months. Yeah, so why would I get with him? She goes and texts him, take Danny out on a date. Yeah, because I thought about it. I was kind of like, oh my God, wait, this is I like, because the thing with me is kind of like, I don't really care. Like, I just don't fucking care. I, he's my ex. And I was like, wait a minute. It, like, if Danny can be happy with this guy and this guy can treat her so fucking good because he treated me like a queen, why wouldn't I make this happen? Because that's I, actually kind of sweet. Like, the thoughtfulness in your like the the thoughtfulness behind it is kind of sweet when you're like oh i want my friend to be happy because i knew he could make danny so happy because they have so much in common like literally danny's the female version of him like they know all the same bands they love the same era they still dress in the same era like they literally (laughs) were so perfect for each other so i texted taylor and i was like hey taylor like listen like um would you be open to going on a date with danny only because like you guys would have so much and you guys have so much in common for you guys to be like amazing together and like he texted me he was like are you sure and i was like oh my god i've never been so sure about anything in my entire fucking life like i've been trying to make this happen for the longest time and he was like all right yeah i'll be open to taking her out to one date and i texted danny and i was like oh my god danny like this is perfect like you're gonna get love like you're gonna get your finally true love that you always fucking wanted and then daniel was like i don't want to i feel weird that's <laughs> is weird is that not the weirdest thing you guys who in their right mind wants that but like for their friend i would never want to give you like the guy i'm into at the, i guess you were over him i, I was guess. over him but like the thing but. is like even if i wasn't over taylor knowing that danny was just kind of like sad and not in love taylor single and like perfect for her like seeing them together would make me so happy that i wouldn't even give a fuck because like it's so weird though to me like See, i can't danny, i wouldn't be able to get past it i, danny thought I that wouldn't was, be able to get past it danny thought that was so weird because you'd be the ex-girlfriend i won't you're like you know when they say like oh like fuck his ex-girlfriend like you know when they're, like you know what i mean yeah you'd be the ex-girlfriend i'd be saying fuck his ex-girlfriend but like i wouldn't matter to me because like like i, I would not be able to look like, past you being the ex and like i would literally just like think of the scenarios of like, oh my god how fun would this be we could all be together and just like see that's what you want you want it i feel like she'd want it to where we were both dating him if that makes sense no 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 it would no no i wouldn't no it was it, like danny thought that what that danny thought that was the vibe that i was trying to give but like i was i was telling danny <laughs> share a boyfriend what are we at the root ball no but danny kind of just like she was like she was like Oh, you're gonna hold it against me in the future and i'm like i genuinely wouldn't because uh once they become like together he's officially like mine i guess he's officially but... your property and like you do whatever the fuck you want like he was my ex we didn't work out for a reason you know we i don't see us getting back together but going back to who going back to who broke up with who yeah. Taylor broke up with me first because I did something very bad. Oh my god, what did you do? Oh, we're not going to talk about it. I already know. And then later, I have never been dumped in my entire life before. I've always dumped the guy. And so after he broke up with me, I was kind of just like, oh my god, did I just get dumped? Fuck this. Probably humbled you a little bit, right? Oh, 100%, but then I bounced back up. I remember that. I've never seen this girl cry, and you were crying. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I didn't know you that well then, but you were crying, and I was like... The only time I ever saw you cry, though. You're like, she's then. human, actually. Yeah. But this was, like, a very long time. I'm much more worse now. This is, like, Oh, was- now now she's heartless. <laughs> like, she was a little bit hers. Like, the beginning of our friendship, she was, like, kind of normal. I mean, why do you think she reeled me in? I was like, oh, this girl's cool. Like, you know? And then now I'm like, oh, my God. It's... I'm, like, a dead inside person. Yes. But after he broke up with me, I was kind of just like, I can't let this be. And so I was kind of like, Taylor, like, filled his ears with, like, anything i could to get him to take me back and then once he took me back one week later i broke up with him just so you could break up with him exactly you're a psycho and so in the end i broke up with him but um after that happened him and i became like we like waited like a few months when like things died down and then him and i started fucking again like on the side kind of just like oh you guys did do we started fucking again we were on good terms for like a year and the lady got he got into it that's when i was able that's when i hit him up and i was like oh my god like take danny out take danny out because we were on good terms him and i we like talked about everything and that was that and then now he's in a relationship with some fucking mediocre bitch when it could have been you and i'm kind of just like danny look at what you did and then <laughs> now and then now danny is like oh i really should have dated him and i was like yes you really should have no, i made a joke i don't think i could ever actually do that i, I think like, you I, can't. I feel like you you should i think he i mean i've only met him once twice maybe but i think he was a great guy he was a you. super nice guy but i feel like he could have like treated you just as good yeah we might have the same vibe but so does tons of other guys you know and i kind of like guys that aren't exactly my vibe like i like to be the alternative emo one i, know, I like but my I guy mean, to it be was just, it would have been know, it would have been it just would have been so perfect and i really wanted that for danny because i like till this day i think about you and Taylor together and i have never seen a more perfect pair like it's 
actually disgusting how like <laughs> well you guys would work and it's annoying how bad I want it to happen but I literally can't because he's has a new girlfriend right now but don't worry I have my little fence up like putting um I have his profile on post notification so whatever new post he posts I'm the first to fucking see it I'm waiting down until they, they break up so that I can make that happen that's so don't bad. worry baby like I'm on your I don't side. want I'm like that mother that's like no we're gonna make this happen <laughs> for you baby I'm going to make that day happen and I'm gonna make it happen and the second that you give Taylor a chance you're gonna see like how happy you are Fuck Samantha. But anyways, back to me, like, hooking up. <gasps> the post not clarity. I don't really have post not clarity. No, 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 not you. Oh. What is the post not clarity for you after a guy comes and you guys are finished hooking up? Like, how does he treat you right after? Um, <clears throat> surprisingly, a lot of the guys are really kind of sweet. I mean... Really? Yeah, I mean, it's not like... When you say the post not clarity... I mean, they, like, hand me a towel to clean myself off. Um, I mean, there's I'm sure there's been a few in, in instances where it's like, okay, are you gonna leave now? But like, I can't really think of anything off the top of my well, head. For me, the post not clarity like they're for me with them after they nut, they always want to stay and cuddle. I don't know why, and I'm always wanting to be like, oh, like. I'm gonna sleep so well tonight. You know? I like I, my thing is more like you watch the movie, you have fun, you eat, you make jokes the whole night leading up to sex, and you dip. I, like, unless you're dating. See, but. I've had that happen to me where, like, they'll want to come over, watch a movie, and I, I'm, like, a, I'm, I'm an animal. Five minutes into, like, ne- like, the thing with me is I always tell people, you can't Netflix and chill until you've Netflix and chill. Because if we're watching a movie and, like, we haven't had sex yet, the whole time I'm going to be thinking about, like... Yeah, and it's fun. It gets you excited. It gets you guys talking. It's fun and, like, hot. But once you do it, it's just like, hey, well, I'm going to go now. Fuck the movie. Unless you're dating. And see, I've had a guy, I've had a few instances where, like, that's the case. But then I feel like once they do all that, it's fun, of course. But, like, when they want to have sex, I'm kind of just like, oh, now I kind of don't want to have sex because I'm kind of, like, turned off by it. Like, this guy told me, he was like, he was like, oh, my God, like, let's hang out and actually watch a movie. And I was like, babe, you know we can't do that unless we've actually hooked up, right? And he was like, no, I don't want to have sex. I just want to, like... That's why you have your designated people to do that with. You have Slade. You have Slade. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, he, he, he told me, he was like, oh, my God, like, I just want to hang out with you, get to know you. And I'm like, this isn't going to work, but sure, come over. And later he was like, can you control yourself, Elena? I can control myself. Can you control yourself? And I'm oh, like... Oh, this is the guy that left the other night? Yes, the Russian. Yes. And I was like, um, I think. I was like, yeah, I can. Fuck yeah, I can. <laughs> I fucking can't. <laughs> you know? And so, I thought you did, though. Here's the thing. And so he comes over. And, like, we're watching a movie. Things are going well. And then he starts getting sexual with me. And, like... Who started it? So he started, like, touching you? Or, like, where, though? Like, where did you touch you? Like, I want to get... I want, like, the full-on details. Like, so the he dirty comes details. over. And, like... He showers because he just came back from the gym and the gym he was showered here. yeah because the gym was like right there so he was he was like can I just shower at your place because I don't want to like go back home and shower and come back and I'm like sure whatever the fuck wait I but don't care he was at the gym over here yeah I thought you said he lived in Lake Forest yeah I don't know why he was going to the gym here maybe there's none open over there I don't, I don't know but he came over after the gym and he took a shower and then he oh, loved it because it came out in a fucking towel oh my god that is so hot so hot and I was having yeah. just like a wet beard and everything super super sexy and so later he like cuddles me and then we start making out. And then he was just really funny because he'll he'll be like, feed me a tip. Like, you know that Charlie video of her being like, let me in, let me in. He was like that. He was like, feed me a tip, feed me a tip. Lady, he was like, he was like, I've been wanting to suck your titties for all day. Give me a tip, please. And he said, please and everything. And I was like, all right, fine. So I took it on, I fed him my titty. And then from there, he was like, grab my dick. And like, I was like. It was really in that point. Yeah, he was just being so weird. Why is that so funny? But he was like giving me like the baby voice, but like. The baby voice, but like in like a man's voice. So he was like, "Grab my dick," and I was like, "No, we thought we we're gonna behave." And he was like, <laughs> "He was like, we are, we are, but no, but just touch it." And I'm like, Do "You have an accent?" No, no, no. Oh, but he was like, "Just touch, just touch it." And I'm like, "No, no, 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 no." And later, um, I was like, "I knew you can't control yourself." And he was like, "No, we don't have to have sex." Later, I was like. But, like, do you want to have sex? So you're like, testing him. And he was like, oh, okay, fine. And once he, like, came. So you tested him. Mm-hmm. Once he Wait, came. So why didn't you cave, though? Because once. You could have literally fucked him and then kicked him the fuck out. Because once he caved, I kind of saw how easy he was. Because 
he was hype. Oh, so did you want to date this guy or? Because he was hyping himself up to like, oh no, trust me, I have self control. Trust me, I got this. I can no do this. No guy has self control. Exactly. And the thing is, a guy can have so much self control, but if you leave me alone with him, I will make him fucking crack. Like I am just that much of a sex goddess that I will just. He will I think snap. they're called something. You called me at once. A succubus. A succubus. You called me a succubus. Danny calls me a succubus all the fucking time. Very like, or like a um a prey mantis, right? When they like, praying fucking man. They like fuck and then she eats the she eats the um. I thought that was a seahorse. Oh no, the seahorse. The man carries the babies. No, but prey mantises they fuck and then they like eat the guy. I after, did not know that, but like that, so I think. like give me fi- like give me keep, put me alone with the guy. I will make him fucking crack. And so I did. And once he cracked, I was kind of just like. Ugh. Like you're hyping yourself all fucking day talking about how like I'm not gonna crack. I won't fuck you. Like trust me, I got self control. And then seeing how easy it was for him to be like, all right, fine. I got turned off, and I was like, ugh, you're easy. Cause hello, guy mentality. I love a chase. And if someone's too easy, I'm kind of just like, I can either take advantage of this just so, cause I'm already here, get some dick tonight, or like just be like, oh, he easy. Like get I him out. hate. I hate the game. Like. The game sucks so bad. And so, like, like I just want to find a guy that's normal who doesn't care about this chase that everyone's talking about. It's just fun. Because I, I can be consistent. Like, I can be consistent. I could be the best fucking girlfriend, mm-hmm. you know? But, like, some guys, like, you know, like, once they get what they want, they're just over it. And, and that's me. I'm some guys. And, like, that's how... <laughs> I some guys. <laughs> Hi, some girl. <laughs> and so that's how it was for me, too. And so, like, after I saw how easy he was, I was like, oh, get the fuck out. And so I kicked him out, and like, I blocked him right after. And I have this guy tonight. He wants to come over, and he was like, we can play chess. We can play hey, chess. Um, the one that I was on FaceTime with. But he wants to come over, and he wants to play chess. And I'm like, we're not going to fucking play chess, but sure, whatever. So, I don't know. Like, I can just, like... Hookups are funny. I mean, I love hooking up. I don't know if Danny hooks up that much. Um, I used to hook up a lot for a hot second. Okay, I, like, did. Then I stopped. Then I did. Like, I go into, like, these waves, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, waves. Um, right now, I'm at this place in my life where I'm, like, I just want to have fun. Like, I want to go out with my friends. I like, like, it's funny because I always say. Do you like spontaneous hookups? Like, at the bar, you guys meet. And then he's, oh, like, I've done. Hey, the, I've done. The, I'm always drunk. as like, drunk as fuck. And so that happens. It usually happens at the bar. Mm-hmm. You know, where I have my, ins- you know, I don't like planning it. Like, if I'm out and you want to stick your dick in me, go for I it. I love planning it, but I've never experienced that. I mean, it happened with, I just, we talked about it last podcast. It happened with Grady. It's happened with Mike, with us and Mike. Oh, that's right. Because you actually had sex with Grady. I didn't. Yeah. You always talked about it. I actually did it on like, I always talk about, like, go, like whenever we go out, I'm kind of just always, like... Like, whenever we go out, I'm always just kind of like, oh, my God, Danny, let's go out, get some fucking dick tonight. But it's never that fucking simple. It's, okay, who am I talking to? Okay, how do I break that I'm trans? Okay, he's not okay with it. Fuck, I gotta go to a different guy. And, like, you gotta have to find out what guy's okay with tea in that little bar that you're at. And that kind of just makes your, like, options a lot fucking smaller. Oh, my smaller. God, there's this dive bar that we go to. I want to tell this story right now, but really fast, I want to say whenever I were friends, I say in my head, like, I don't have time for a boyfriend. I'm dating Elena. Like, <laughs> you know, like, we really do date each other. Uh-huh. Like, you know, like, I don't have time for that. Like, she's everything I need. So right now I'm focused on, like, us, if that makes yeah. sense. I, whatever, I'm not really thinking too much about anything, and I'm trying to get over you-know-who, so. But no, so we had, like, Elena and I have this dive bar that we always go to. <laughs> we love I, dive bars. I guys hooked, are so trashy. I've hooked up with all of the pool guys there. All of them. We got Johnny. We got Kai. And who else Cody. do we have? Cody. We have fucking Reeves. They all know each other. Like, it's so funny. And none of them talk about it because, like, you're the tranny. Like, you know. <gasps> oh, because this is before I met them. This is before you took me there. Yeah. Okay. This is before my time. And so I have these, like, one-on-one relationships with each one, and they all hang out, and it's so funny. Because they don't talk about it. They don't really talk but, like, about we- it. But then I talk about it with them, so Cody knows I hooked up with all of them. Like, Kai knew I hooked up with all of them. Like, you know, like, uh-huh. they all know, but they don't talk about it. And it's so funny. And so the other night, like, Johnny came back to town, and we were bar hopping with them and stuff because he just moved back from this place. And then I run into Kai, and I run into who else um, was there? Um, it was Kai. You and ran Cody. into all your little one. I ran into stand. Cody. I ran into Kai, and I ran into Johnny. Johnny ended up like taking me from that bar to a different bar after. But I definitely hung out with Cody there, and he watched him play pool for like, or not Cody, sorry, Johnny, for like a good three hours. And then we went to Shooters. We went mm-hmm. like to all these other bars. But it was funny, like seeing everyone. I like waved to Kai, and I'm like, "Hey, Kai!" And then he texted me after, and he was like, "You're with uh, Johnny tonight." And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Anyways, but it was so funny because. I feel like you hook up with guys more on Tinder and I hook up with guys more in person, if that makes sense. That is true. Because and I don't know why, but... I mean, I do. It's because 
and you like getting to know these guys and i feel like in that person you're forced to communicate and just like talking to yeah so you like buy drinks you talk yeah, and, and you're that's, very that's just the like vibe that you like yeah. as to me i'm kind of just like i don't want to know them i don't want to get to know them and if i talk to anyone in public chances are i've already gotten to know them too much i don't really want to hook up with them anymore because like yeah. it's the fun out of it i like hooking up with strange men that i just don't know at all like, i don't even want to know their last names and stuff and so like that's why like online on tinder kind of just like here's my address come over like just let's not talk and just like get to the dirty deed but like danny likes being at the bar meeting them catching a vibe and it's so fun and like I'm, elena knows these guys too elena you've hooked up with cody or someone never know who you've hooked up with but anyways it's yeah. just funny like we all know each other that night like it's our bar like all the bartenders love us they all mm-hmm. want to fuck us like mm-hmm. literally do they not all want to fuck we're us we're the forbidden fucking fruit it's so fun they never charge they never charge your drinks I, oh, wait, I hooked you? up with we hooked up with him oh my god and now I get free drinks at the asshole I, we hooked up with this bartender tell them the story so there's this bartender and we're kind of just like the whole night we were flirting with him later um Danny and I were just sitting there and we were kind of just like let's, go get, let's smoke a cigarette let's smoke a cigarette I don't smoke cigarettes but I was trying to like go, go, go on your smoke break go on your smoke break and so like he knew what the fuck I fucking was and so like when he went to smoke where he kind of looked at me he was like let's go and so like me and Danny run out the fucking door to the back and then he like he like pulls his fucking dick out I'm like stroking it and I'm like oh my god Danny look it's growing and like when Danny and I are drunk it's so funny because everything is a joke to us like this guy had his cock out and me and Danny kind of just laughing and we're kind of like Danny look it's fucking growing and I was like Danny put your mouth on it and so Danny goes oh, alright and Danny goes over and bends down and starts sucking his dick I'm kissing him and later Danny gets up and later I suck his dick and then Danny starts kissing him later we like the smoke break is over and then still like, get free drinks to this day baby mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, at the end of the night I work and just like don't forget what we fucking did for you like yeah. you better take this off our fucking like card and mm-hmm. so like we got drinks up the ass and then every I, I, I've, I've been like I've I think I did it two like two times after mm-hmm. that, and so like you got to keep that consistency. You gotta exactly, keep the, the drinks flowing. You know, and so like, after that, he told me that him and Brittany fuck. Did I tell you that? Ew, why? Yeah, he wants to fuck. Brittany. There's this girl bartender there. Hopefully she doesn't see this. I don't know why she went, but <laughs> <laughs> we don't like her. None of the girls like her. She's a bitch. She's hot, of course. <laughs> it was so funny because last time all the boys love us, and she just like she's the only girl there, and she hates us. Yeah, and it's reason. so funny because when Danny and I weren't friends, Zahara and I went to go. <laughs> to the bar because Danny's there all the fucking time. They came to look for me. And the one time because we wanted to beat her up and so the one time Danny wasn't there like we went there we're getting ready to jump fucking Danny and later I'm like walking around I'm like where is Danny? Where is Danny? Later I like we're going around lying to everyone like all of like the um regulars the regulars were there so they were kind of just like oh my god elena how are you we haven't seen you in like two months and i'm like yeah my friend just got her nose job and we want to surprise danny do you know where she is <laughs> and so they're like asking everyone like do you know where danny is like she's supposed to be here like my friends are high, just got her nose job. we want to show danny we want to show danny we want to show danny no one knows where fucking danny is i so was in so la and so i found this guy. girl and i'm like oh my god like have you seen Danny? And she was like, I'll text her right now. And I'm like, don't let her know that we're here, though. We want to surprise her. So I'm, like, hooking up with this guy in L.A., this, like, longtime friend that I have. And I get this text from Jordan. Her name's Jordan. And she's like, hey, girl, like, I'm with a friend. I can't say who it is, but why aren't you here tonight? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, well... I'm in LA. Like, I was actually going to go tonight. That's so funny. And I was like, who's your friend? And me thinking in my weird twisted head that it was fucking, what's his name? Luke. I don't uh. know why. I don't know why I, was, I thought it was Luke. But it wasn't Luke. It was you. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then later when like, Danny came back the next day, everyone was kind of just like, oh, yeah. oh I, and so that I night. Went, yeah. That night that I brought Zahara, Zahara got drunk and started getting into a fight with Brittany. Oh, they got in a fight. You said that they got in a yeah, fight. Yeah, because or Zahara was drunk. And so, like, Brittany was being such a bitch towards Zahara because. Brittany is just a bitch. Like she's a pain in everyone's fucking oh, rectum. Remember, remember when we were like standing on that thing and she's like, "Get the fuck down!" And we're like, "Yeah, what are you talking?" And that's about? what she was like, doing for the high rent. So like she like. Took- oh, were you guys up there? Oh no, you were in front of that. No, we were in front of like the okay. little um where you order. Later, she was like telling like Mike to like yell at all, to yell at her. Later, Mike didn't give a fuck. Ronnie didn't give a fuck because the high was fucking hot. Yeah, so they're like just let her live. Mm-hmm. And Brittany kept having a problem, and so later Brittany took a paper towel. <laughs> like she comp- paper took. <laughs> Brittany <laughs> took a little tiny. Now Zahira's blacked out. I talked about this. She does not remember this at all. Oh, my God. (laughs) Brittany took, like, a little paper napkin that they put the drinks under. And, like, she comes in and throws it at Zahira to, like, get her off. Zahira, being so drunk, stops fucking dancing, gives her the biggest thank face, literally grabs all the paper towel, crumples it, and just starts chucking at her. And, like, she takes it one by one, crumples it, and just starts chucking at her. Not even, like, the full thing. She's literally holding the full thing, being like... 
and throws it at her, crumples it and like just keeps throwing it at fucking Britney with the I biggest stink face. One. And it was just, I'm like witnessing and I'm like, all right, Zahira's getting in that like state of mind of like being really, really drunk. I got to take her home. So I took her home. But it was just so funny because no one fucking likes so Britney. Then, yeah, so the next day I end up going to that bar like with my friends and then everyone's like, oh, like someone's asking about you. And I knew it was you. I found out it was you and I was so annoyed. I'm like, what does she want? <laughs> I was like, you're in my past. I'm working towards my future. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and now here we are. But. And they're like, oh, yeah, she had a new friend, like a nose job. And um, Danny was like, oh, that bitch got a nose job. Because Danny thought it was someone else. Danny yeah. didn't think it was a Hira. And I was pissed. Because so. Danny Ben knew Zahira had a nose job. Yeah, but, I don't know like, why you guys lied about that. Because everyone there didn't know that Zahira had a nose job. And it was like the perfect excuse because I was telling everyone, I was like, yeah, Danny really wants a nose job really bad. And so like, we wanted to show her Zahira's nose. And at that time, I was just kind of like, where the fuck is Danny? And I was you so mad me, baby. when I yeah. found out that you were there the next fucking day, as I predicted that you would be. Like, of all the fucking times, you just had to be in LA that one night. Right. I'm never in LA without you guys. I know. And it's so fucking weird because literally the next fucking day, Danny was there and I called Zahira. And I'm like, oh yeah, my gosh, she's when there. When we weren't friends, we never ran into each other. It's so weird. Which is exactly because we. But I was at, I was at the shopping center once with my best friend, um, and we were leaving, and I saw your car there, and I was like, I think that's her car. And then we go to the, like me and my friend went out to this other place, like this bar, and she you like you messaged my best friend and was like, Hey girl, like, um, I saw your snaps. Are you still at the Spectrum? And then I was like, Oh my god, so that was her car. Like you parked right next to me, mm-hmm. but I don't think you noticed. I mean, I just have like a basic car, but. No, but I recognize the pink license plate, but I didn't even know your car was next to me. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. look, but that was just, yeah, surprisingly, we never went into, considering the fact that we live, like, 10 minutes away from each other. We I mean, to, I kind of stayed. We go to, like, all yeah. the same fucking places. Like, how do we not run into each other? It's just, it's weird. I mean, I just assumed that you didn't do that stuff without me, so. I mean, and I really Then I did. found out that you took to hire there, and I was just like, oh, we, we, okay. had, we were there on a mission, and it was to give you a nose job early. You guys really wanted to beat me up. That's oh no, up you know ass. we wouldn't have. We love you. I know you guys wanted to come and make up with me, huh? Probably, you missed me. we probably did. We probably would have ended up like like being drunk and being like, ah, I got you, let's be friends, you know? <laughs> we would have came on like, you fucking bitch, but like, girl, like we that got, like, one time we were friends in Huntington, and I come out of the bathroom at the at Sharky's, and you and do you know who are standing there outside the door? When you were at the Australian, right? Yeah, I was with the Australian guy. And then we weren't talking at the time. I opened the door from, like with my friend Kayla, and I just see her standing there with this other girl that I know, that I don't like, whatever. Mm-hmm. Anyways, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> and they start going off on me, and I'm just like walking away like I don't know them, and I'm just like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> We love little And you had my location. Because you, you never, un- of course, you never unshared it. She stalked my ass. She knew I'd be there. She had my location. Mm-hmm. So like, when we became friends again this time, I'm not giving her my location. Like, I'm like, you're a psycho bitch. Like, you don't deserve that. Until I go on her phone when she's not knowing, I just share it instantly. Yeah, yeah no we'll idea. see about that one. Yeah, but <laughs> hookups are fun. They're great. We always got off topic. Like, It's just because, I mean... We just start rambling. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I love but hookups. They're amazing. They're cool. I mean, like, I mean, they are what they are. They're hookups. It just sucks. And when I say it just sucks when, I mean specifically towards Danny, when you catch feelings. When you know it's going to be hookup vibes. You know what sucks even more? What? Let's talk about it. What sucks more is that when you're cisgender and not trans, a hookup can definitely lead to a relationship. Oh my god, it always does. It always does. But us, if there, if you start strictly on hookup terms, like you're not gonna end up dating each other. Like it just, just gonna see you as like a hookup, like a I'm hookup. just like the forbidden fruit that I'm gonna eat like once in a while. But exactly. like, you, you, I'm gonna date the cis girls and I'm gonna hook up with you on the side. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, it always happens. Like that's it, my dream is to like hook up with someone and like have them be like, I don't want you going out tonight. I actually kind of want to just. Stay that in actually with happened you. to me. Remember Sephiric. <laughs> That's so funny. When did that happen? <laughs> what are, you, are you being sarcastic? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't remember. Zephyric. You brought... Okay, so Zephyric was originally... <laughs> <laughs> so me and Danny both matched Zephyric on Tinder. And then Danny ended up... Um, so I was sick one night. And then Danny brought him over. <laughs> and I was in the room. And I had no idea who was in the living room. I just hear them talking. But... um. I never met Zephyric, never ever met him. And I just knew he was in the room because, like, yeah. it was in the, I could hear Danny in the living room talking with him. And later he left. And Danny was like, oh my God, this guy is so cute, blah, blah, so cute. And then later. I brought him over again. Danny brought him over again. And this is my first time meeting him. 
And then I think there was like a whole, whole joke about like you trading him for like a pack of cigarettes because I, who else was there? Okay, so the group we were with, we had, we it was like a girls' night, and then we were like let's invite boys over. So I invited him because we were like talking at the mm-hmm. time, and, like in a weird. way. Oh yeah, because Daniel was like I think talking to Sephiric. I don't know. Like it was like there was like two days of you guys talking, right? It was like yeah, like we hung out once and we hung out again. Like it wasn't yeah. like super serious or yeah. anything, but like whatever. And so then, who? What was the other guy that came over? So Hannah's like. Let's invite someone else over. And she goes, Danny, whip out of your phone book and invite another guy. Which I don't know why in the time I did that. I just, yeah. I'm so dumb. Because at that time, Sephiric was kind of just like Danny's guy of the night. I don't know why I did it. So basically, I understand why everything happened at this point. But Do you? I mean, it makes sense. Like, I've traded him for Okay, so basically... There was, was like a happening? big joke that Danny traded Sephiric for a pack of cigarettes. Because basically... My friend, our friend at the time, literally was like, Danny, invite another guy over. So I was like, there, I invite another guy over. So there's two guys there trying to hang out. But I thought we were all just doing friend friend vibes. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't think it was like, you know, this other guy's there. And I was like, okay, well, now there's two boys here. And you guys didn't invite over any guys. And those, these guys came from, like, my phone book. Like, it's yeah. kind of awkward. <laughs> and so then you come over and you're like, he's kind of cute, Danny. Like, can I talk to him? And I was like, if you buy me a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> So I, I really mean, traded Danny him. wanted a pack of cigarettes. I himself. traded him for a pack of cigarettes. Or I was like, if he gives me a cigarette or something. Uh-huh. And so then I'm like, yeah, you can talk to him. I just thought we were, like you were going to talk to him for the night. Ends up being her fucking boyfriend. And I'm like, hey, this is so awkward. <laughs> and like, so I, so that was, I think that was my first time having sex after breaking up with Taylor. Like, I thought it was a one night thing. Like, I really thought we were just no, no, no. like, hang out the with boys is, casually. I thought it was too. Yeah. Because I told him when we hooked up, like, after, like, we were talking at, um, at, the house and then Danny got her pack of cigarettes and I was telling him I was kind of like do you want to hook up you know and later um, he was like took I him. hooked up with the other guy that night anyways yeah so he reached out his hand he was like let's go yeah. and so he literally brought me to the room and then I remember it went, before him and I had sex I was like this is just sex I don't even want to know your name you know because I don't think I really I think his name was like Zeph at that point but I didn't know his full name but yeah. I don't know what he went by and yeah. so um, I was like I was like, this is just a hookup. Oh, one night stand. I don't know your name. Because that was my first time having sex after breaking up with Taylor. And I had, like, waited, like, three months. And so I was kind of like, So we were, like, newly friends, too. Mm -hmm, We were newly friends. And so I was kind of like, this is just strictly sex, okay? And he was like, okay, okay. And so we had sex. Oh, my God. Sex was fucking great. It was amazing. (laughs) Flash forward. I don't know how this happened. We took him to Sharky's. Remember? He was at Sharky's. With Lisa. With Lisa. With Lisa. My Asian hairstylist lady. Yes. We took him to Sharky's with Lisa, and then we took him out to the bar, and then at that point, him and I were kind of just, like, talking at that point, and then... <laughs> Me being like, oh, like, you're here again. That's how we got rid of you. Yeah, because we ended up getting each other's socials, and I was kind of like, fuck, you know? And then later, I took him to Vegas. We went to Vegas together, and we came back in a relationship, and it was so fucking funny, because now he was my boyfriend, and I was kind of like... That was and that wasn't weird, or, like or anything, because like I hung out with the guy once. I think we kissed once or something mm-hmm. like that. And then the second time, like you literally were like, "Can I talk to him?" And I was like, "Yeah, for sure." Like whatever. And then you got to get the guy with the cigarette, so it was yeah, like, it was and, perfect. Yeah, so it was like whatever. And so, but then he before ended- everyone in the comments is like, "She hooked up with that guy." You know? <laughs> Just keep in mind that it's da- fine. I don't care. Like mm-hmm. it's really not a big deal. And um, so after we hooked up, it was weird. Cause I was kind of like, "Oh my god, this is one of those moments where like it became like a relationship." from yeah. sex like it started off like it started off strictly sex well yeah there's always a like an exception and yeah. so later that was that and that was amazing and then we dated for a hot minute and then later he had different plans after was it didn't he like move away or something mm-hmm. he moved yeah. away and then i didn't want to move away i wanted to stay in cali and so you really could have like gotten married though because wasn't he like in that whole like marine vibe i don't remember if he was i mean that. I don't think he was going to be pushing towards marriage but you know they all want to marry fast they do they do they you could have really just had a husband, babe. That would have been so funny, though. But, like, he, yeah. Loved him. Loved the guy. We still talked today, too. We, I literally was in Vegas. Were you in love with him? Um, Who would you love more, him or Taylor? I think when it comes to love, I thought... I love asking these questions. We always go off topic. I'm so mm-hmm. sorry. I, I want to know. I'm so curious. I thought I was in love with them. I think I loved the idea of being with them. Was and it having, just like a heavy infatuation? I think so. Okay. Because to, I I don't think I've ever been in love. Yeah, but I've never was, been in love either. If it, was, if it was between the two, I would definitely say Taylor, only because I cried reverie after Taylor, and with Sophia, I didn't really shed a tear. Only because, like, our splitting... Our splitting was really interesting because the fear kind of... We kind of knew, like, okay, by this date, he's moving. And so we kind of just... We were kind of just, like, knowing, like, okay, he's going to be gone by that date. So we were kind of just, like, 
were preparing for as to with Taylor, which was kind of like a bomb. So I was unprepared for it and it was kind of like, fuck. And you dated Taylor for nine <clears throat> months. How long did you date Zafiric? I think it was about like six or like six or was five. it really that long it was a very long time yeah oh my god i don't remember it being that long that's so interesting it's a very long time and so yeah and then that was that so in a wrap don't catch feelings if you know it's just gonna be a hookup yes don't. like if you know it's just gonna be a vice. there's always an exception to the rule but like just don't do it you're just gonna hurt yourself in the end you really will just hurt yourself. And it's like, yeah. it's like the worst thing ever when like... It's so sad. And that's why... I'm just going to wrap this back up into my like my situation right now. I never got hookup vibes from Samantha. Like, I really didn't. But is that... And like, that's what we talked about. Yeah. Because in the end, he was kind of like, oh, like, I'm not ready for a girlfriend. That's what I don't understand. It's like, and I like, really, like, why I did really you fucking, can't read the room. Why did you fucking do all that in the like, first place? Yeah. Like, I really can't read the room because I'm like, that's so weird. Like... I don't know. Maybe some... I mean, he's a Leo. Mm -hmm. Good at manipulating all that great stuff. So maybe he just knew the type of person I was and in order to hook up with But me, I don't you, think... I don't know. He would pull that off or, like, want to do something like that. I don't know why. Just I mean, he's what, still trying to talk to me now. And I'm like, why do you... Why, like, like if you don't care, then why are you still trying to talk to me? Yeah. Like, like when you can't like, have your kicking. From what you're show. telling me about this Samantha guy, I mean, like, I send you the text message. Like, yeah, he doesn't seem like the type to be like, I'm going to play this bitch, you know? Because what did he, what did he gain out of it? He's such a good guy, and that's why I'm like, okay. That's why I'm so confused. Even to this day, I'm like, you're still trying to talk to me. What are we doing? Yeah. Like, you know? Like, you like I don't know, you know? It's interesting. It's definitely it's, interesting. It's definitely so interesting, and I'm like... But I don't get hookup vibes from him at all. I don't get hookup vibes. I don't either. I'm just trying to, like, make... It's just, it's hard when you just... It doesn't make sense. When it doesn't make sense, everything hurts 100 times more, because you just start questioning you know and that's what it was with diego later when i found out so now you understand yeah you know and that's so funny because we weren't friends at the time mm -hmm. but i was going through that and you're going through that and we so it was so funny thing. because my podcast with owen what i edited out was so i was talking to this guy named diego and then we kind of just stopped talking and i never understood why and i never brought it up because if he did feel the need to bring it up to me why was i going to bring it up to him so we kind of just stopped talking we, i didn't feel like i don't know why we stopped it was the weirdest thing ever because we, we were like relationship vibes you know like i stopped talking to a bunch of all these guys for him and then my interview with owen like 10 minutes before i find out he's in fucking vegas with this other girl his new girlfriend and so in that very moment i'm kind of thinking like oh my god like if she's his girlfriend so fucking soon like how soon were they fucking talking and how that's long that's honestly were they? so crazy to me and i was like how long were they talking while i was talking was i just like the buffer was i just kind of like the the distraction yeah and so like in that very moment my answer was my questions weren't answered as to why we stopped all oh, my curiosity it was answered and so like <clears throat> sitting down i had owen in front of me doing an interview with me like a podcast episode yeah. and I froze for literally oh, and like, the baseball one right yeah. Owen's the baseball one okay, yeah got it. and for literally 10 minutes I was sitting there like I couldn't think I couldn't like keep up with the conversation it was just so that ended all right then right it, or... no this was like this was like I think two weeks after I stopped talking I stopped talking to Diego and I didn't know why we stopped talking and then you, but then you saw the snap right I saw the snap 10 minutes before Owen and later when me and Owen sat down very Katy Perry in the Katy Perry movie when she gets the text of uh, what's his name yes wanting the divorce no and literally she goes and perform literally that moment yeah. but like for me it was kind of just like all my questions was answered and in that moment I'm kind of just like oh my god I sat down with Owen for like 10 minutes of just not being able to like say anything and 10 minutes is a long time for the camera to be rolling and nothing's coming out you know and like he's just sitting there like watching me and I'm like oh my god I'm so sorry like I don't like I'm so sorry like I don't you know. were just hurt I was just I wouldn't say hurt oh, there but is a little human in there I, I wouldn't say I was hurt but I was just kind of like and oh my god, like it all made sense now. And I was just kind of like a little bit of anger and just kind of like. You know, it's okay to get hurt over things like this. I don't want to talk about it. And so, okay. and so, um, and so seeing that, so I'm just like, oh my god. And like, Owen's literally sitting, sitting there watching me. Like, because in that moment, he didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Because I told him, like, I'm having a brain fart right now. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. So but, he's just like. Yeah, so yeah. I and so it. later, after the interview. You didn't want to come off unprofessional. You yeah. Know, and but so, like, like, really, that happened. And mm -hmm. like, that's such a big thing. And that's crazy. And so I care the interview the whole way didn't think about it and later afterwards own and i went out for donuts and that's when i told him like oh my god like i'm so sorry for like, by earlier. the way this happened yeah like, i'm like i'm so yeah. sorry for earlier this is what really happened this is why i froze up yeah like, i'm not normally like that like i'm so sorry and he like understood and it was just like it, it was interesting but that was like my first like experience with that and like it like it again it just goes to show like you can be the hottest bitch in the room but like a man will pick 
a basic bitch with a pussy over you. And that's just kind of like, that's the reality of it. And like, it just hurts so bad mm -hmm. when things just don't add up. And, and like, just... you guys can sit here and be like, you girls are so fucking wrong about that. Like, I have my man. It's kind of like, <laughs> okay, yeah, you have your man. Good for you. But like, the reality is, this is how it's like for a lot of trans girls. Don't believe me? Ask any other trans girls yeah, out there. For it's sure. not even like, it's not even about like, being a slut like I have a dude's mentality she has a female mentality and it's st we still get treated this way like it doesn't matter how you treat them because she does everything right I really do mm -hmm. and like I mean there are some guys that I don't but like I just I they want to fuck you know yeah. but if I get vibes from you that you don't and I yeah. like really like you like I'm gonna do everything right to keep you yeah and you like know? Danny does that and like even she gets treated that way so it's like it's not even just kind of like a you girls are so wrong it's yeah. it's the reality of trans girls and dating and hookups and it's just that's just how it is for people like and us and I definitely think things are changing I mean it's definitely a weird time for um it's not that. changing girl and if, it's, and if it's changing it's to make a mockery of us the super straight thing uh, well there's like this whole thing where they're kind of just like oh my god i identify as super super straight where it's kind of just like, i only want to like be with people who are born biologically I mean, this and there's that. good and bad and everything and i mean whoever's watching this don't lose hope we're all gonna have our happy endings and 100 oh, percent. Yeah. but like just expect the world out there it's dark I know, you know, but what if some young trans girl's watching this and she's like, I'm never gonna find love. Like, you'll find love, even if it means loving yourself first. Well, definitely, but just keep in mind, little girl, it's dark and twisted <laughs> out there. Like, it's, it's dark. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> some little girl. What you were saying, when there's like a little girl out there, and like, you know, <laughs> right? I just picture you talking to a five year old baby, like, little girl, buckle up, that's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Because it is like men are literally awful to trans. <laughs> oh, well, we're rolling still. Stop it. And it's just so funny, but yeah, like just expect that's gonna be dark, and like that's the like you have good mom over here being like, oh no, yo, if I love, <laughs> and you have the auntie who's like, listen, like it's not all about like it's not all that. Like it's gonna be awful. It's gonna be a dark ride, and like you need to prepare for it. It is annoying though that like. You could be super, super hot, and they're still gonna like treat all, you the, a all way. the surgeries, everything. Hello. Hi, oh my god! Hi guys. Okay. We're still filming our podcast. Give us a second. Okay. That's literally Danny. That's literally Zahira and Leah in the literally across the fucking hall, talking to us through our fucking balcony. Like that's how <laughs> close we are to living each other. But that just goes to show, like, oh, my God. Like, you really could be, like, all the surgeries in the world, and you still... They will still pick a bitch with a pussy <laughs> because they want babies. Yeah. It's awful. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. But we're going to wrap this podcast up because Ali and Zahira want to have dinner with us. We're going to walk on over there and have dinner. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little episode that we did too. it was actually really really unplanned it like, was definitely unplanned the very last minute I just wanted to say thank you for having me again of course you're on high demand people yeah. love you I love thank you I love you. having you on and I love you then guys. before we go can we please explain our friendship to them because yeah what do you want to explain they have this narrative that I'm toxic and you're codependent on me and they have this theory that our friendship is very very toxic and I feel like we've been thriving like lately I don't know. Well, I mean, I want you to explain from your point of view because from what they're saying, it's like, I'm really awful to you. From your point of view, do you think that I'm awful to you? Do you think that what they're saying is a little true? Like, how I do you feel? That, being, how do you feel in our friendship? I mean, I definitely think that, I mean, if multiple pe people are saying something, mm -hmm. there must be some truth behind it, you know? And mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day, I do have some codependent tendencies. I mean, I definitely, like, I am, like, a little bit like that. But I'm definitely, like, not, like, you know, I don't need you. It's always me who calls you. her over. It's always me. I don't me. need you yeah. at all. It's like, always me who's, I'm like, not asking Danny, for Danny, money. Danny. I'm not asking to be on these podcasts. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, I love doing it. Like, we're friends, you know? And I think that you have toxic moments. Oh, 100%. I'm but not, mm -hmm. you admit, you're the first one to admit it. Yeah. And, like, if I'm willing to let myself go through that then that should be my decision if that yeah. makes sense and at this point like we really are like like i said we're sisters and i mean we just have so much fun off camera that nobody sees mm -hmm. and i think that that outrules like the bad parts i guess yeah. you know and even the bad parts like they're not even that big of a deal i've They're had really some minor. really bad friendships with some people that i don't really i can't really talk about um right now but with her like 
it's not like that, if that makes sense. We've never physically gotten into a fight. We've never, like, violated each other. And whenever we have a problem, like, or if I have a problem, she has a problem, we do end up actually talking about it. Obviously, it's not going to be on camera for everyone to see. And, yeah, maybe we have a lot of dark humor and she makes a lot of dark, like, dark jokes that she shouldn't. And maybe I, like, react a certain way, but whatever. At the end of the day, like, I tell her how it is. I'm always yelling at you. Mm -hmm. I mean, not always yelling at you. And that's what I, like, like off camera, Danny's always yeah. yelling at me. And, like, we're always awful to each other. But, like, we're always the, laughing. Mm -hmm. We're always getting ourselves into shitty situations. Like, yeah, but, like, at the end of the day, I feel like Danny and I experienced so much that at this point, it's kind of it's just, just too like, late to go back. It's No, no, I wouldn't say that. Oh, for me it is. I don't, I know you now. And you're like, I love you. Oh, what do you mean too late to go back? Like, how? Like, it's too late to not know you. Like, I know you too well does that make sense oh okay yeah i was thinking of something else i will agree i do have a lot of toxic traits i am like kind of like i would am um, i would say i'm like a real life regina george but times 100 <laughs> that comment that we saw oh my god they're saying how like <laughs> elena's Re regina and danny is like katie heron and like i will say i am kind of like regina but like 10 times more because i'm that mean but <laughs> at the end of the day, I feel like Danny knows my personality. Danny knows my humor. Danny knows me authentically. I do. And, like, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I'm her best friend. Yeah. Like, she comes to me for everything. Danny, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I feel yeah. like Danny knows when I'm being for real, when I'm, like, fucking around, and when, like, is, like, serious. Because, like, Danny says some things that are fucking awful, too. But I know, like, she doesn't actually mean it. We're yeah. just fucking around. And, like, yeah. that's just our banter. And, like, yeah. we have thick skin towards each other. And, like... Not all, not all friendships are like in the movies where it's like, oh my god, babe, this yeah. looks so good on you. Like, yeah. I so actually hate those types of friendships. It honestly, makes you want to fucking throw it's up. It's way easier to tell you like it is, yeah. really, you know, because it's so easier for me to be like, Elena, don't fucking do that. Like, yeah. don't do that. You know what I mean? And I feel like our friendship is just so raw that like there is no boundaries, there's no nothing, and like yeah. it, it's it, it works. Yes. It literally sure. works. It and I feel does. like me and Danny were, if me and Danny were to have that sweet, lovey dovey friendship, I would assume everything she's saying to me is fake as fuck. Yeah, for sure. And like, I don't like that. I'd rather I have it. her tell like it is. I tell like it is. And like, at the end of the day, if, like, if Danny truly felt it was toxic, she wouldn't be here with me today. If I felt like she was toxic, I would let her ring my doorbell at three in the morning. <laughs> and I'd say, I'd call the cops and be like, take this psycho bitch mm -hmm. away. But, like, but at the end of the day... I got in the car at the end of the yeah, day. Like, Danny like, trusts me. and Danny knows me. And so it's kind of just, like, you know, that's just our friendship. And, like, everyone's friendship is different. Exactly. And I'm sure everyone, like, who's watching, I'm sure you know someone in your life that you kind of have that with. It's just, in this circumstance, like, so many people are watching this, you know, yeah. and seeing this. And, like, and people are going to have their own opinions. They're only seeing, like, what we're portraying. What we're putting other. out, Because as yeah. soon as the camera goes off, Danny and I are just kind of, like... We're going to go pig the fuck out and eat some, like, Hawaiian like, food. We're, like, like, a complete 180 of what yeah. we display on camera, and yeah. then that's just how it is. But, like, obviously we see your comments, we understand, but, like... Like, again, it's just this yeah. relationship between me and We Danny, thought we should talk you know? about it because not all the comments should be about that. It should be about the topic of the mm -hmm. podcast. But, you like, know? you guys made it seem like it was just, like, I was a bad person, which I know I am. And, like, <laughs> like Danny says, I'd be the first to admit it. And, like, I'm not trying to be high. I'm not trying to hide it and be fake. Like, And that's why whenever she's like, I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. I mean, she's a human. She's hurt. Like, you know, and I can recognize that. Yeah, and that's only time, Danny like, can. And, like, I don't know. It's just, like, I feel like it'd be worse. I feel like a true toxic with me being actually like negative and like being discreet about it yeah, yeah. kind of just like like the stress looks awful and me being like oh no keep it good like, yeah that looks good yeah i feel like that's toxic but like my i'm very like mean but like i'm i'm real about it you know and like that's just how it is wait do you think the stress is awful no i love it on you oh, okay. but like a romper but. but like it's just like that's what i mean like i feel like it would oh, truly yeah, that's be like, like an example. that's how regina george was yeah yeah she literally was like that towards all her friends yeah you know? for sure but, like i mean Definitely. i'd rather just like be openly an awful person that way no one expects any good of me and i don't have to live up to anyone's expectations you know you always say that you I say once you start doing something for someone i always or, tell Dana that once you yeah. do good people expect good and that's why my, i'm always just such a bitch to everyone that way they just expect the worst for me and i can just be free <laughs> she always surprises me <laughs> and i don't want to have to like i don't want to like i don't know it's just how it's just how i live my life because i don't like being like anyone's little bitch I don't want to have to like live up to anyone's expectation I don't you know, know um, those movies where it's like like Maleficent where it's like it shows how she got that way I think we need a little movie on how Elena became this way what way I'm fine it's a joke I'm just saying like you're like you know what I mean yeah 
your emotions you don't like talking about them i need to go see a therapist but i told danny this morning that if i went to go see a therapist i would literally fall in love because he'd be the first man to crack me and be like let's get real like and also like if i could do see a therapist i need to look at look for like a really hot therapist and that's what i always tell her i'm like that's why i'm your therapist because literally like i will tell you how it is from my own point of view as your best friend mm-hmm. like you know well, while I mean? all these guys are worshiping me I need all a- these guys worshiping her i'm over here like elena shut the fuck up and that's like, why i think i'm in love with danny but like i need a man like i feel like the only way i'll ever find love is if a man is like gonna put me in my fucking place and be like listen you can't behave this way you're fucking 23 or 22 mm-hmm. you know and like that's what i need but all these guys are like you're so beautiful and i'm like oh let me take let me show you like shit baby but we i don't know how much of the topic we actually covered but either way i, mean, I enjoyed it we got know? over the logistics go mm-hmm. have fun go have safe sex go don't expect life. anything real and <laughs> <laughs> stop it, elena because they're just all out to use you and if you're married then you're lucky <laughs> <laughs> no whoever still has hope for trans girls finding love don't lose your spark anyways mm-hmm. thank you for watching do you want to plug anything plug on my stuff like you always I, I was just, Danny doesn't even the fact that Danny doesn't know her own at is just I know my at Instagram <laughs> okay I'll, it's well, just I'll a lot I'll just plug I'll everything just plug in it the right description box down yeah, below okay whatever. but until our next episode bye you guys bye